It has been 18 months since we released the first version of the application designer to the market. It is changing the way that we consider developing solutions for and with SysPro. The application designer is heralded as the low code, no code solution to developing applications in SysPro. With this release, we're ensuring that it provides as much as possible a no code experience. There have been numerous changes made to the application designer over the last year, but we're really very excited about the ability to access all SysPro business objects, whether you want to post or query easily and with no code. We subsequently extended this feature to allow accessing web APIs, passing in key information from the form designed. And then to fully integrate with traditional customizations, we've added the ability to select a relevant custom form to allow for more maintenance of data. The application designer has been updated to extend the low code, no code capabilities when interfacing with data sources, specifically business objects and transaction posting. Here we've got a sample application which comes with the installation of, of the application designer. And um, this is just a standard form with some customer information details in it. Under the data sources uh, button, we now have um, we now have access to add in transactions and add in web services. So I'm going to just go through and add a, a business object transaction. So I'm going to call this customer maintenance. Select the business object. And then we've got um, an option to specify whether we want to show all errors that are returned from the business object when we when we transact with it, or we can just show the first error or no errors. Then we've got the type of transaction. And here, if it's a um, if it's a general transaction such as cash book posting or posting invoice or doing um, a new sales order, then we can select post. When we're accessing master data we've then got the options to um, to call upon the the setup functionality so here i'm just going to select setup uh, update and when we click on the browse button next to the business objects we can then um, select the relevant business object so in this case i want um, customer maintenance which is this one here then we have the ability to amend the parameters of the of the XML in and where we've got key values in in the XML in or we need to or we want to pass through something from the from the entry form then we can actually come in and we can select the relevant um, field that's on the form or that control that's on the form um, and that would then actually just be shown within um, within that XML and that would then get inserted in. But the, the main point of coming into this program today is to see how we would actually map the data um, from the form um, into, the, um, into the, the business object call. So what we, what we get listed here is we, we get the list of the fields that are available um, to post via the business object. And when we click on one of the fields, we can have it automatically filtering based on the names of the fields that are on the form, or we can switch that off if we um, if we haven't named the for the fields on the form um, that well to match up with the um, with the business object. But here we've got um, something like uh, the customer name, and when we highlight that, we'll click on the relevant field on on the form, and then double click on it, and then that is mapping. Um, that's mapping the information that that's keyed in on the form to to the business object so we can do branch and we can put that in there um, and we'd be able to go on and um, and and do all of the fields that that we need the other um, the other item on here that um, that is going to be particularly useful is that there's going to be certain fields which are probably mandatory or, or advisable within the um, within the business object call but we won't necessarily be showing that on the form so what we're actually able to do in here is we're, we're able to specify a default value or, or the value that we want to post via the business object 
um, by highlighting the field, clicking on the text button and then clicking on OK. And then that would always put that value into the business object call. The application designer has been built so that it is easily accessible for both the experienced developer and the citizen developer. It provides a way to develop applications rapidly with the same look and feel as SysPro. With full access to the SysPro business objects without having to have specific e.NET licenses or any form of apportionment truly provides a way to build fully integrated solutions. You can also use custom data objects, either through direct SQL or the data dictionary. Whilst the solutions are developed within the desktop, they can be surfaced within the web UI using the web designer, removing the need to understand complex development kits or environments.